Um, with our third example, we are going to up the stakes a little bit. We're actually going to look at four resistors instead of just three. Um, so your chart's going to look a, a little bigger, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to look again at the same kind of idea, marrying series and parallel circuits. Um, so if we start from our battery, um, and we go around the circuit, and we see that we've got, we right away run into resistor one, so we know that's in series, because we haven't had an option to branch out besides there. And then we turn the corner, and oh my goodness, there's a branch point. So branch point means there are two options that our current can travel through. And so we have the option here to go through R2 or R3. So we would say that R2 and R3 are parallel. to each other. Okay. After we pass through either R2 or R3, we see another branching point where we're coming back in, um, and we're reconnecting, and our circuit continues on, and as we make our way back to the battery, we are forced to go through this fourth resistor here, R3, before we make it all the way back to the battery. And so since we don't have an option to go through R1 or R4, we know that those are what we call in series. They're in series with the battery. So we would say that R1 and R4 are in series with both the battery and this combined parallel branch, okay? Because once we leave the battery, we have to go through R1, then we have to go through this branch. So if you think of this as where you're one big loop, and then we have to go through R4 again in order to get back to our battery. So uh, once again, we're going to start with the information that's given, um, which is uh, typically going to be your voltage and your four resistors for this circuit. Um, so that's typically um, what's given for a combination circuit. Okay. So once we fill all of that out, um, once again we're going to start by finding our total resistance or that equivalent resistance. Now, um, you might have been thinking with our past two videos, how do I know where to start? How do we pick which set of resistors to combine before we combine with the others? And so if you've been thinking about that, I want you to, um, to watch what we do in this video and then go back and think about what we did in the other two. Um, I always start as far away from the battery as possible. So um, even though this resistor four is the last resistor before the battery, the way that the circuit is set up is that R2 and R3 are further from the battery. So I'm going to actually combine those together first. And since we said they're in parallel, we're going to follow our parallel rules. And so this is going to be resistor, the equivalent resistance of 2 and 3 together. So we're going to take 1 third plus 1 over 6. And we're going to get 0 0.5. And hopefully you can do that math in your head, that resistor 2, 3 is 1 over 0.5, which is going to be 2 ohms. Okay. Now I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to redraw our circuit um, just to sort of help simplify this picture. So we're still going to have R1, but instead of drawing that parallel branch, I'm going to combine 2 and 3 together like this. So we know that R1 was 4 ohms. We know that this is going to be R2 and 3, and we just found that that was 2 ohms. And the last was R4, and we said that was 2 ohms. And so at the very beginning, when we said that R1 and R4 are in series with the battery and R2, 3, this is what we meant, that we could essentially combine 2 and 3 together to act as one resistor. Now, within 2 and 3, they will follow the parallel rules, but overlooking the whole circuit, it's mostly a series circuit. So if we were to find the total or equivalent resistance for this circuit here, 
we would just do 4 plus 2 plus 2. for a grand total of 8 ohms. So our total resistance for this circuit would be 48, sorry, excuse me, 8 ohms. I'm going to go back and plug that into our, our totals. Once we know our total resistance is 8 ohms. Now we can do a quick ohms law here. We know 48 over 8 is 6 amps. Now here's where identifying the pieces of your circuit is very important. Um, with the series rule, we know that the current has to be the same. So our total current says, hey, you're going to leave the battery with six volts. Not six volts, oh my goodness, six amps. And you're gonna go through R1. Well, you haven't branched off, so your current must still be 6 amps. After you pass through R1, we're still 6 amps. But what happens here? Oh no, there's a branching point, and we branch off for R2 and R3. So we know that these, because they're in parallel, need to add up to 6 amps as your total current, but individually are not either of them 6 amps. So we can't fill out I2 or I3 just quite yet, but we know once they come back together that we are once again left with 6 amps. And guess what? That's going to go through R4. We said this was in series, so R4 and R1 in addition to the total, all are 6 amps. We don't know what these two are, but we know they have to add up to six. And then finally, after we pass through our four, our six amp journey continues. Okay. And once again, um, we see that we can go up on our circuit in two places to fill out our voltages. And so we have six times four, we have 24 volts here, and two times six, and that is 12 volts. Okay. So in a series circuit, we understand that all of these voltages in a series circuit would have to add up to 48. But we don't know what the voltage is for 2 or 3. Ah, but we said that they're parallel. Parallel means that 2 are the voltage for 2 and the voltage for 3. These have to be the same. They're in parallel with each other. So let's take a journey back down to the simplified circuit that I made earlier to get an idea of what that means. Our journey is going to start with 48 volts. So before I enter the first resistor, we have 48 volts of potential. Once we go pass through R1, we just said that we experience a voltage drop of 24 volts. This is another way to say this, that we have a voltage drop. So we're actually going to drop 24 volts. So our voltage here, we start with 48, we're going to drop 24, and we're left with a remainder 24. For R4, we kind of have to think about this backwards. At the very end, we're actually going to end with zero volts. And that's the, the idea behind what a battery does is that the potential is used up as we go around your circuit. And the battery um, gives you a greater potential difference to start all over again. Over R4, we know that what happened was that there was a 12 volt drop, okay. which meant we had to start with 12 volts between R2 and 3 and R4, so we dropped this 12 volts. Well, then the question becomes, what did we drop over 2, 3? Well, if we started with 24, we ended with 12, this drop must also be 12 volts. The other way, if that was really confusing, the other way to think about it is that your V total is equal to V1 plus V2, 3 plus your V4 in this series circuit. And if you know that this is 48, 
and that this is 24. And we don't know this, but we know that V4 is 12 volts. If we know all of this, we would come to the same conclusion that V23 has to be 12 volts. Okay. Either understanding works. Um, there are just two different ways to look at the same circuit. Um, this follows, a lot of students will follow this method because it is um, slightly simple, but this is the idea behind when we say we have that voltage drop or that potential difference between two points in any circuit. So now that we know that V23 is 12 volts, we're going to go back up to our circuit, our original one, and actually look at 2 and 3. They're parallel to each other, which means if my voltage or my potential difference on either side here is 12, so I need to drop Twelve volts into both of those boxes simply because we're following the rules of parallel for two and three. And so we said earlier in the video we weren't quite sure what these two numbers were, but we knew they had to add up to six. So let's do Ohm's law real quick to see if that happens. Twelve over three is four amps, and twelve over six is two amps. And sure enough, four plus two is equal to six. And so that is another complete combination circuit.